Hey, I'm Caleb from Caleb's Aviation, and I've come back to the Orlando International Airport to go home. Today's flight, I will be flying again with American Airlines. Hopefully it goes better this time. Flying from here in Orlando to Chicago through DCA. The first flight is on a 737 MAX. The second is on an A321neo. I'm so excited. Very much looking forward to it. Never been through DCA, never flown a MAX or a 321neo. Come with me, let's go and enjoy the video. The first thing I did was get checked in at the American Airlines desk, and then I headed airside, where I grabbed some lunch and a view. Have you ever wondered how to tell a 737 MAX from others? First off, 737 MAXs have multiple distinguishable features. Serrated chevrons on the engine nacelles, a pointed tail cone, and split winglets which are slightly different from others. This is true for all 737 MAXs, whether it's the MAX 8, 9, or MAX 10. Soon, however, we were boarding for what appeared to be an on-time departure. We'd learn more about that later. Once we boarded, there was almost no evidence we were even on a MAX. Once we got on board, I thought I'd check out the seat. The headrest was nice and had adjustable wing. A good amount of legroom considering I'm back here in economy. A nice area for the safety card. An area for your own in-flight entertainment which streams over Americans' Wi-Fi. Here's where the flight got more interesting. Our captain for today's flight up to DC called in sick. So we sat on the 737 MAX for about an hour as they looked for a replacement captain to take the flight. Then this announcement happened. So the fun continues. We're being deplaned, we're heading back to the terminal. We've got a new departure time for 3.10 in the afternoon. Hopefully we get back on soon and we can get on our way. It's about 1.15 now. So we're back in the terminal and I'll be honest, I'm a little upset that we're not going yet. But yeah, I mean, let's be honest, that's just how it goes sometimes. So hopefully this delay is over. I mean, what are you going to do? We'll get back on board and hopefully we'll get on our way. I'll keep you posted. <laughs> so they're saying there's a chance. We're boarding up again. Hopefully this goes better. Let's try this again. All right, so the doors have been closed. We're pushing back. Let's go. Our flight path today would take us along the United States East Coast before arriving in Washington, D.C. In the end, we ended up taking off about four hours behind schedule. Snacks came pretty quickly. I opted for mini pretzels and cranberry juice. After the snacks, I decided to check out the 737 Max restroom. It wasn't as small as people made it seem. Pretty soon, however, we landed in D.C. In the distance, in a minute, is the Washington Monument here in D.C. Five minutes behind schedule and we're gonna head up inside 
flight one is done. After getting some quick dinner, I headed to the gate for the second flight. Behind me is the 20-year-old American Airlines 737-800NG that will take me back to Chicago. Hopefully this flight leaves on time and we can get on our way back to Chicago because at this point, I'm really ready to find a bed. <laughs> All right, see you soon. Our flight path for this second route back to Chicago is pretty simple. In the distance now are some views of the Washington Monument and the United States Capitol all lit up at night. Once we got in the air for this quick segment of this second flight, snacks came around. Water and love corn. I'd never had it before and it was really good. Pretty soon, however, we descended into Chicago. As we came into land, I reflected on this experience. Sure, the first flight was delayed, I missed my connection and had to take a later connection back to Chicago from DC, but overall the flights were great. This was a much better experience than my previous American Airlines trip on the way down, and I would definitely fly them again. I flew through DC to try the 737 MAX, and at least that worked out. In the end, I paid $103.25 to fly from Orlando to DC, and then on to Chicago. For two flights, this wasn't bad. And just like that, the second flight is over. Back here in Chicago, exactly where I started. Man, that was fun. Although, I'm gonna try and find a bed. Anyway, as always, wishing you blue skies and tailwinds.